Today we're going to discuss how to drill a hole in a tile, specifically how to drill a hole in porcelain tile or ceramic tile. We're also going to share some tips on how to mount bathroom accessories. This is the Milwaukee Diamond Plus Mini Hole Saw for drilling through tiles. You can use it for porcelain, ceramic, granite, tile, glass, marble, slate, you name it. And you want to spray the surface of your tile and then begin drilling at a 45 and then slowly pivot it to a 90 and oscillate the tool back and forth. We'll show you how to do this. This is what the mini, mini hole saw looks like. There's a slug ejection slot for ejecting the slugs of tile. And those are the little diamonds on the tip for cutting through tile. So like I said at the beginning, we're going to be installing some TR series American Standard accessories, bathroom accessories. We're using a laser level to do this it makes it a lot easier you don't have to use one but it is a great tool all right so we're gonna put in this American Standard toilet paper hanger basically off the instructions it's it, it's six inches from the center of each one of these plates that you got to mount to the wall uh, we have tile here obviously a lot of people feel that going right into a grout joint is a better bet I'd say that's not too bad if you have wood blocking behind here if you planned ahead of time and actually had some wood blocking behind there otherwise i would go with going on the tile itself because really the plug that you install is going to hold better into the tile in the backer board than just going into a grout joint if you have wood blocking by all means go into the, the grout joint if you'd like uh, if not, I would just try to get on the tile. Now, in general, this bathroom is pretty tight. Kind of a rule of thumb that I've been kind of sticking with is eight inches off the top of the toilet and then wherever knee room is comfortable in front. But in this situation, eight inches is all the way up to the top here and you wouldn't be able to get a paper towel, toilet paper roll in without hitting you know, your, your uh, sill here. So, uh, so we have our laser up. So obviously you want to make sure that your your uh, your handles are going to look good. So I'm, I'm actually going to want to go down below the grout joint all the way. I, I feel like it's going to look better if I have it fully on the tile and not on the grout joint. So something like that. So you just want to keep it far enough away that you have leg room. Go ahead. Let's mark our... Up the bottom here, and we'll measure over six inches from the center of that. Your set screw goes into this indentation, so you're going to have to point this down. So make sure we're on the laser in the center. We mark that this way. So we actually did it the opposite way here. Kind of good there. Start drilling through the tile at a 45 degree angle, then tilt your drill to a 90. I should say this is a quarter inch bit. And remember, to preserve the bits on the end of that drill bit, you want to dip it into water every three to five seconds. Uh, so this is ceramic tile. It's about a quarter inch thick. It's not really a hard tile. And it was easy for us to drill through it, through it with our diamond bit. So again, 45 to 90 degree to start drilling through the tile. It'll take you a few seconds, depending on the thickness of the tile, to get this done. So once you have the holes drilled, the next step is to add plastic plugs. We needed four, as you can, as you can see here, and we lightly tap them into the ceramic tile using a hammer. You can also use a rubber ballot for this if you're scared of breaking the tile. So clean the tile off with a damp sponge, and then you can add the mounting brackets using the provided screws. Uh, be careful not to over tighten the screws because that, that could break your tile. And then you have a little set screw on your bathroom accessory that you can tighten down over that bracket. So it's really, really simple. We put together this bathroom uh, this bathroom toilet paper holder and it really complemented this small bathroom as you can see here it is a very very tight bathroom the next step for us was to do the exact same process for a towel bar and again just drilling at a 45 then at a 90 and taking your time you definitely want to take your time with this kind of a project Get tapping those plastic inserts into the wall unscrewing the set screw 
and then tightening it down onto the bracket. So again, this towel bar really turned out nice and complemented the style of the bathroom. By the way, we also have a video on how to install the, the toilet in this Ravina sink. This is a different project that we were working on. The tile was porcelain, much harder, about three eighths of an inch thick. Uh, we took our time doing this, and you'll notice that you will not break the tile if you use this method. So we needed two holes for the bracket. We were installing a shower rod in this modern shower, and that's why we needed two holes this is what that bracket was attaching to, that shower rod that was going into the glass. Hopefully you got some great tips in today's video. If you do have any questions, please let us know. We also have our free guide on bathroom remodeling, which you can get by clicking right here. That'll take you over to Home Repair Tutor where you can get the guide for free. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.